humorous speech contest. Nothing really matters. Speaker number one, Lisa Beck. My adventures in online dating. My adventures in online dating. Lisa Beck. Could anyone here meet their spouse online? I know many people who have. My experience was not quite as lucky. And I am here tonight to share with you my adventures in online dating. First things first, when you decide to try online dating, you need to create a username and profile. Since I love food, all things cooking, and I'm somewhat adventurous, I decided to call myself Adventure Foodie. <laughs> you have to jazz it up a little, make a little, make yourself sound a little bit more interesting. So you would think that this would attract a lot of food connoisseurs, and a few times it did. But more often than not, it attracted men who did not like to eat. <laughs> I had never met a man who didn't like to eat, and there's this strange tribe of anorexic men in Austin who like to stalk foodies. <laughs> now, I'm sure my Italian great-grandmother was rolling over in her grave thinking of me with someone who doesn't like to eat, let alone that they weren't Italian. <laughs> now, take a tip from me. When constructing your profile, many of these sites ask you a million questions. And after answering about 40 questions, you're pretty much brain dead. <laughs> you may inadvertently answer a question without thinking clearly. I'll give you an example. I was on a date once, and the guy pulls out his phone, and he says, you know, we answered a lot of the questions the same, but there's this one question that you answer that just doesn't sound like you. He says, um, are you interested in having an open relationship? And you answered yes. <laughs> After a couple glasses of wine and answering 40, 50 questions, I was thinking of open, meaning honest, and community. <laughs> Now, when you meet someone online, all you know about them is what they've told you. And what I learned pretty quickly is what they tell you is pretty much worthless. <laughs> this brings me to my first bad experience. I was meeting my date at a wine bar. His profile seemed interesting, and he said he was a few years older than me. When I arrived, he appeared to be my dad's age. <laughs> he was wearing a bad Hawaiian shirt, unbuttoned to here, with chest hair hanging out. <laughs> and the worst part was he was wearing more jewelry than I was. <laughs> Like five times as much. He had on gold chains, a big gold watch, too many rings to count. Now I had to ask myself, did I take a wrong turn off Mopac at Houston, New Jersey? <laughs> this would definitely not be a case of opposites attracting, at least on my end. We ordered a cheese plate and some wine. Thank goodness, because by this point, I really needed a drink. <laughs> and I laughed as he ate the entire wheel of brie. I thought, he seems really nervous, and he's going to be really sick tomorrow. <laughs> After a couple of hours, I was able to escape. As I was pulling out of the parking lot, he texted me. I did answer. Then he called. I did answer. Then he called again and left a message saying that I must have been in some horrific accident because I wasn't answering his phone call. So after a one two hour meeting, I had to call this guy back and break up with him. Then a few days later, he called me back just to make sure I hadn't changed my mind. This guy was harder to drop than my ex-husband. After a few similar experiences, sprinkling in with some interesting dates, I decided I was not going to renew my membership. So I went online and canceled it well ahead of the date that I was going to renew. But the next day I went and looked at my bank statement and they had charged me for six more months. So I quickly called Match and was connected with their customer service in India. I got a woman in India and she says, you didn't find love, you need to keep trying. <laughs> now I thought this was ironic because she's in India, she could possibly be in an arranged marriage. And I'm thinking, maybe I should ask her for advice. Maybe I should have someone arrange a marriage for me. But then after explaining to her some of my experiences and telling her some stories, she said to me, No, Lisa, you must stay focused on other items and other areas of your life. Stay away from men for a while. I'm going to give you your money back. <laughs> because several of my friends had met their partners on this site and they kept telling me I should try it. So I said, okay, I'll try it again. Um, one phenomenon I was unaware of is that when you're a woman in your 40s, there are 20-year-old men who want to sleep with you. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> now, some of these 
these men may have been even younger than 20. They were lying about their age. So there was a chance that I could have been arrested. <laughs> <laughs> or at the very least been called a cougar. I'm really not sure which one would have been worse. <laughs> now these guys cut right to the chase. They sent me messages that said, I would like to blank 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 you. <laughs> Do you like to blank me blank blank? <laughs> I love my personal favorite. Plans tonight? Want a blank? <laughs> party um, and I, with my friend Brian and he was also on OkCupid. So he said let's switch phones, give each other feedback on our profiles and tell each other what we should change. I said okay, here's my phone. So he looks at my app and he says, Lisa you have 70 unread messages. <laughs> I said I know, those are the 20 year olds. He said the 20 year olds? I said yeah, those 20 year olds that want a blank 40 year old? <laughs> he started to open the messages and his face turned red. <laughs> he says I can't believe that men that you do not know would say such vulgar things to you. Um, Brian, being the gentleman that he is, apologized for the entire male race. <laughs> um, I mean, I like to blank 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 like everyone else. <laughs> I like to stay out of jail. <laughs> I would like to stay out of jail, and I, I would appreciate someone who would appreciate my other qualities as well. If you're considering online dating, know that it's a crapshoot out there. You could meet the love of your life, or you could meet the guy in the Hawaiian shirt and gold chase. Because ladies, I'm sure he's still out there. <laughs> if I ever decide to try online dating again, I will still be adventure booty. But there will be an asterisk with a footnote stating, those who do not like to eat need not apply, and if I'm the same age as your mother, please don't send me a message. <laughs>